Have you ever tried to use set interval in a React component and seen some pretty strange behavior? I have a simple component right here that has some state and we're displaying it. Let's go ahead and add an interval to update the state every second. We know to use effect for this sort of thing. So let's go ahead and grab use effect. And then right here we can call it set interval. And we want to set the count to count plus one every second. And uh, we're going to see right here, we've got a little linter error. We forgot a dependency of count uh, in our array right here. Uh, and that's because we're using it right here. But uh, usually actually when your new state depends on your previous state, it's best to just use the function version of the setter uh, just like this. And that way we don't need the dependency. So uh, let's come over and refresh. And this is strange. Uh, our count is definitely increasing but is increasing uh, by two and we were expecting it to go up by one. So what is happening here? Well, uh, the increase by two may tip you off that this has to do with React strict mode, which runs our effects twice. And in fact, if we pop open uh, our app here, I'm running a next app. We can come over to next config. And if I were to disable strict mode and then we come down and uh, restart our dev server here, well then look at that. Uh, our count is going up by one now no problem so uh, what the heck is going on here well strict mode works by running our app basically twice you can think of it as running our entire app twice including these effects and the reason it does this is because it wants to make sure any effect that is not properly cleaned up is brought to our attention in an extremely obvious way and if we look at our effect code right here we'll actually notice that uh, we didn't clean up this interval that we created right here, right? We called set interval, but we never actually called clear interval. And even though the app looks like it's working, we actually have a bug in this program. We have a memory leak because our um, callback function right here is closing over this count variable. It's going to retain a reference to that variable even after this component goes away, uh, if it's ever unmounted, and it will never be released. So we have uh, a memory leak because we never called clear interval. But if you look at our app right now, it's working perfectly. If we open up the console, we don't see anything uh, in the console or in the terminal down here that indicates we have a problem. We have no lint errors. There is nothing about uh, the program or the feedback of our tooling that is telling us uh, that there's a problem at all. And this is exactly the purpose of strict mode. It's made it extremely obvious when we had it enabled uh, that there was something wrong because the behavior of our program had changed from what we had expected. So let's turn back on strict mode, come back to next config, re-enable it here, and we'll restart the server. And if we come back and refresh, now we're gonna see this behavior that's clearly wrong based on the logic that we have written. And now it's, it's highlighted our attention right here um, that, oh, we have a set interval, but we forgot to clean it up. So let's get the interval ID and then we'll return a cleanup function that calls clear interval, just like this. And now if we refresh, look at that. We're still in strict mode, but our app is behaving according to the logic uh, that we wrote, just the way we'd expect. But now we've fixed uh, the memory leak. We have no more memory leak in this application. And now just to drive home exactly what's happening here, let's go ahead and console.log uh, when our effect runs and then let's console.log when the cleanup runs right here and we'll go ahead refresh uh, pop open the console and uh, you can see right there right when our application is first rendered uh, we get an effect a cleanup and then an effect and that's because of strict mode it's immediately running the cleanup and the effect again uh, to make sure that we have the cleanup code present so you might be wondering, um, why is React doing all of this weird stuff to try to highlight bugs when in other areas of the code, uh, it can just tell us in a lint error that there's something wrong. You know, we saw earlier, we forgot a count variable from our dependency array in our effect, and we saw a squig squiggly underline right in our editor. React was telling us, you know, we forgot a dependency. It was programmatically able to determine that we had a bug in our program, that we had violated the rule of of the uh, the hooks lint um, plugin, and so why couldn't it do something similar? 
Why can't it just say, oh, you have a set interval in your use effect and you forgot to write clear interval. Didn't you mean to do that? Your effect may cause bugs if it's unmounted, right? Um, well, it turns out this is kind of the interesting point of all this is that it is very difficult or impossible actually to determine uh, if your effects have side effects. If the actual code that you wrote inside in the side effect needs to be cleaned up, um, it basically turns out to be impossible to, to determine that. Um, and just think about the code that we wrote or the code that you, you've written in your own applications. What, what sort of code needs cleanup that you write in an effect? You've got set interval and set timeout. They both need clear interval and, and clear timeout. But most of the code we write in effects are things like making network requests uh, that might need to be canceled or, or opening website connections that need to be closed or you know connections to chat rooms. Um, uh, there's all sorts of uh, code that you write that may need cleanup that uses all different APIs from each other, libraries that need to be closed. Uh, and so it basically turns out impossible to be impossible for React to be able to programmatically know whether or not you forgot to clean up an effect. And so it's actually kind of interesting here, uh, the way they devised this, this uh, strict mode to work, to use running your effects twice as a proxy for whether you forgot to clean up an effect. It's, it's kind of like a very coarse way to say, well, we can't programmatically know if you forgot to clean up an effect, but what we're gonna do is uh, force your components to mount, unmount, and then immediately remount. And uh, if you are writing good React code uh, that behaves according to kind of the rules of React and the React paradigm, and you understand what belongs in effects and what doesn't, then your app should actually behave as you expect. It should behave exactly the same way it would in production or without strict mode on. And so I thought that was really interesting um, because it's it's really just a, a proxy for helping you find these bugs. And uh, you know the reason I, I made this video this week is because there was some interesting conversation last week on Twitter and uh, Dan Abramov had some really insightful tweets about this whole conversation because admittedly, strict mode is kind of a pain in the ass, right? When, when they added strict mode to React uh, and you started your, you started up your application and it started doing all sorts of stuff that it never does in production and you had to deal with figuring out all these areas where effect code was double firing and you had to account for that, whereas you didn't have to in the code paths that your app had in production or your users ever faced, it was kind of a bummer, right? And what Dan was talking about on Twitter was that this is not something that we just did, uh, you know, to make your lives miserable. The, the, the idea here is that we did this to help highlight bugs that you may not know you ever had. And so if you think about the simple example we just looked at, right? If you first take it back to the beginning, you say, well, the bug doesn't happen without strict mode, right? The, the, uh, the count went up once a second. But then once we turn strict mode on, the count went up by two. So isn't strict mode causing the bug? But that's not the right way to think about strict mode. What was happening is that strict mode revealed a bug that we had forgotten uh, to add the clear, clear interval to our effect. So we actually had a bug the whole time. We had forgotten to add clear interval to a set interval. And so the bug was already there and it was just strict mode that was highlighting it, that was making it obvious to us uh, in the only way that it knows how. And so uh, regardless of that, it still is a pain in the butt when it first came out and you find yourself addressing the strict mode uh, bugs, right? That are being caused, but really they're being surfaced by strict mode. And so back to the conversation on Twitter, uh, some of the things that Dan were saying was that uh, this is a, an intentional trade-off. And I think the most important thing to understand about all this is that uh, there's a cost and there's a benefit, right? Certainly, um, maybe this memory leak in this particular application that we looked at was, was uh, never gonna be a problem for our users. And uh, they were gonna never experience a, a situation where um, this needed to be cleaned up and it wasn't, and that caused a bug or, or some problem with the application. And so you might say, well, that's a cost. We have to deal with that upfront. Uh, the benefit is that it highlighted a bug we didn't know about otherwise, but there is a cost. You're forced to deal with it before it may become a problem, um, but the benefit is that it helps you write more correct code. 
up front. So I thought that was a really interesting conversation kind of going around Twitter and it helped me better understand both why strict mode does what it does and the purpose of it, but also this trade-off that is part of the design of React and strict mode. It is an intentional trade-off that, you know, is not the same that uh, some frameworks or some tools might make. You know, Next could decide not to enable strict mode uh, by default, or it could um, turn it on or off. Different frameworks could make different choices there. Um, but in general, that is the trade-off that they've made. And uh, you know, it reminded me there's actually other tools in the programming community that are kind of similar, where they force you to deal with maybe edge cases or um, parts of your code that aren't going to come up as much earlier on so that they don't become a problem later, right? Just because this memory leak wasn't a problem now, and maybe the memory leaks in the first version of your application aren't a problem, they eventually become a problem. And it's a lot harder to deal with once you have them all at the end there. So if you're forced to deal with them over time, you kind of amortize that cost from the beginning and uh, you know you get more correct code into your app from then. But there was this tool that Netflix had called Chaos Monkey, which would randomly take down services across the whole organization. And of course, because you know Netflix is such a complicated piece of software, any person's homepage is really like an amalgamation of all these different services. You kind of have the new releases, maybe you have your recommendations. And so if you're working on the homepage and the recommendations engine goes off, well, what happens? That's not really a happy path, probably not something that you're really considering dealing with when you're doing your day-to-day -day development. Um, but it's something that uh, eventually you'll have to deal with and might eventually become a problem. So they had this tool called Chaos Monkey that would randomly take down these services which would force the teams further up the stack to have to deal with those failure cases. And this kind of reminded me of this, right? Even if this component never unmounts, this is kind of forcing us to deal with that case. Maybe someone later comes out and extracts this component, starts reusing it, you've forgotten to clean up an effect, and now it's causing problems elsewhere in the code or for your colleagues. So I thought that was a, a cool um, analogy here to, to React strict mode. And uh, regardless, I think it's, it's good to understand how this works what trade-offs are being made here. Um, and it's really also just technically an interesting mechanism for helping you discover whether you forgot to clean up side effects that you kicked off in use effect uh, because there's no programmatic way to actually detect that. Um, and so what's the best we can, the next best thing we can do or a very clever way to, that we can, thing that we can do for you, run them twice. And if you notice clearly obvious uh, bugs here, in your UI, then you probably have a cleanup problem. So hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you have any questions and uh, I'll see you in the next one.